And today, the topic of our discussion is nothing but polymers. So I welcome you all to this session. Hi, Praveen, uh, Ganeshan, Rekha, Pragya. Hope you are doing really well. <clears throat> so if we are going to talk about this chapter, the weightage of this chapter is really very low. I mean, we do not expect much questions from this particular chapter. Right. I welcome you all. Uh, Untold Gaming, Pradeep Kumar, Jyotsna, Untitled Guy, JD Bros, Varsha, hi. OK, yes, I welcome you all. Hope you are doing really well. And you have revised this chapter. And then I believe you are re really very prepared for this session. Vaishali ma'am, kaha hai? Today, she won't be taking this session. I will be. <clears throat> so from this particular chapter, what do we need to understand? Or what type of questions that we generally expect? What would be the name of the polymer? It could be asked. What would be the name of the monomer? It could be asked as well. And the type of polymer. So there are basically three categories from where questions are asked. My name is Tarun, and uh, I was taking initially J sessions. Now Vishali Ma'am is. Now, <clears throat> now let us get started with the chapter. As I've already told you, there are basically three ways in which a question can be asked from this chapter. And that is, the question can ask you about the name of the polymer, or a polymer would be given to you, and the corresponding monomers could be asked, or the category from which your polymer is related to, it could be asked. So there are basically typical three types of polymers. Can you say us thermodynamics? OK, the chapter thermodynamics is already discussed. If you go through the videos of J bytes, you will surely find some videos present over there. OK, let us get started with the chapter. Now, the first question that you see on your screen is, from J Main 2017, just look at this question. The formation of which of the following polymers involves hydrolysis reaction, right? So basically, they are talking about how a particular, the polymer is given to you, and they're asking you, by which method are we preparing these polymers, right? Now, if you look at option number one, option number one, that is nylon six, we should know that. It is prepared from caprolactam. If you look at the structure of caprolactam, it is something like this. We have N, H, 1, 2, and then C double bond O. Now, if you will hydrolyze this caprolactam, what will you get? You will be getting nylon 6. What is the structure of nylon 6? Like this is the repeating unit. C, O, right, it's A, <clears throat> C, S2. What should be the number here? Just count the carbon uh, C, S2 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So C, S2 will be 5, and then we'll be having 1 NH unit. So this is the repeating unit of nylon 6. So A is the correct option here. Now, if I'm going to talk about, let's say, uh, terylene, how is it prepared? You should know all the monomers and as well as the preparation method of all the polymers given here. Terylene, how is it pre prepared? It is prepared by the condensation of Ethylene glycol, plus tetraphthalic acid, right? This is a glycol. That means it has OH group present here. It is an acid. That means C double bond OH group is present here. From here water molecule is removed out. And you know that whenever smaller units are removed out from a 
from two molecules what do we call them we call them condensation right so the d option is from the condensation option number a is correct so yes it is really very easy questions a uh, question present over here and it appeared in J main 2017 so you can have an idea over here how simple questions are asked from this particular chapter now let us look at question number second it appeared in J main 2016 so which of the following statements about low density polythene is false so polythenes are of two types as you guys all know it is LDP that is low density polythene and HDP that is high density polythene. So low density polythene e are those polythenes that we use generally at home, right? For for carrying purpose. So if you look at option number D, its synthesis require high pressure. Yes, it is true. It is used in the manufacture of buckets and dustbin. Do you think so? No. Low density polythene, they are like as the name suggests low in density we cannot use them in the manufacturing of buckets and dustbin so option number c is the correct option because this statement is incorrect right it is a poor conductor of electricity yes it is a poor conductor its synthesis required dioxygen or a peroxide initial as a catalyst if you look at the preparation of ldp you will surely find out that a peroxide initiator or dioxygen is required for its preparation. So option number C is correct because that statement is incorrect regarding LDP. So I believe question number two is also clear to everyone. Really very simple question, a fact-based question I would rather say. Let us move ahead. Now, which of the following is an Anionic detergent. Now, this question is actually not from the polymer, so we'll rather skip it and move to the next question. On complete hydrogenation, natural rubber produces. This question appeared in advanced 2016. Now, have a look at this question. This is really very important. Why is it so? First of all, you should know the structure of natural rubber. Let's quickly have a look at natural rubber. Yeah, you surely can post your suggestions regarding the answer. C is two, C, C is three, double bond C. Okay, so most of the students are saying it is option number B. We'll surely uh, see that. Polyisoprene, okay. We'll see the answer in a minute. So double bond C, H C S2. So this is what this is your natural rubber. Now, what we are doing is we are basically reducing it right on complete hydrogenation. Now, what do you think? Which group should be reduced here? What is that group? It is double bond. Oh, double bond. Double bond can be easily reduced in the presence of S2, right? So what will be formed here? It is common sense. That CS3, or we'll just write CS2 here, C, CS3, and one H will be added here, CS2, and then CS2. Because this double bond is reduced, one hydrogen is added over to the left carbon, one hydrogen to the, towards the right carbon. Now, what do you see here? Just observe. What is that? this group cs2 cs2 and what is this group what is that don't you think it is propylene don't you think it is ethyl yes they are so just have a look at option number one ethylene propylene copolymer so Option number A is the correct option, right? On complete hydrogenation, natural rubber produces or gets converted into ethylene, propylene, copolymer. So I believe this question is also clear to you. And see, 
the level of the question that actually appeared in advanced 2016. Right, Dr. Pradeep Pat uh, Patidar, you are absolutely correct here. Now, which of the, which polymer is used in the manufacture of paints and liquors? Now, this question appeared in May 2015. Now, this is more of a fact-based question that glyptel is used in the manufacture of paints, right? So you can either learn it because that, that is more of an industrial application of glyptel. It is option number B only. Now, based upon this question or based upon the applications of your polymers, one more question is introduced and that is given in the column form. So on the column one, in the column one, what do you see? Various polymers are given to you or compounds are given to you in column two, their applications are given. Now you have to match them. If you look at option number B, you know that option number B corresponds to one. Now look at B corresponds to one in one of the options, like in which of the options? It B corresponds to one in option number A, B corresponds to one in option number B. It doesn't correspond to option number C and D. Now have a look at polyvinyl chloride. PVC, where is it used? It is used in the manufacture of toys, right? So C, <clears throat> just keep, sorry. PVC is used in the manufacture of raincoats. So C corresponds to two. So option number B is correct. A very simple question. That appeared in J, although the mention uh, air is not mentioned here, but it was not so recent question. But yeah, it was a question that was asked few years back. So option number B is also B is correct. I hope it is clear to everybody. With this, let us move ahead. Now this is a very important question, and it actually appeared in 2011. So market is very important, although it is more of an controversial questions. Some say that uh, few options are incorrect, but we'll just figure it out. A compound is given to you. It is processed through two steps. In the step one, it is passed through Y. In the second step, it is passed through an acid, right? And we get a condensation polymer. What do you mean by condensation polymer? When a simpler unit or simpler units are removed out from two reacting units, right? That's what condensation means. So we have to just see out of these four options, what are the correct options or which options give condensation polymer? First of all, this is not a single correct option. This is multiple correct option. Okay, so one of the one or more than one could be correct. Now, if you look at option number one, if X, these two X's are replaced by the group CS3 or COOCS3 and Y is S2NI. Now have a look at it. If you have CS2 whole four and then C double bond O, OCS3, C double bond O, OCS3. Now, if it is passed through S2, and I guess it is Ni, right? That's the first step. If it is passed through S2 and Ni, what will happen? This group and this group will form what? Two moles of CS3 OH, right? Plus, what will I get? I'll be getting OH CS2, CS2 whole 4 and CS2 OH, right? Now, this is made to react with what? CS2 whole 4, COOH, COOH. Now, do you think these two, 1 and 2,
can form condensation polymer yes they surely can how this is an alcoholic group this is an acidic group they will form ester so option number 1 is definitely correct it is definitely correct now if x is replaced by co and s2 group it is replaced by co and s2 group and rest of the units are same now what we are again doing is we are reducing it with the in the presence of s2 and ni now what will happen on reduction on reduction this co and s2 group will be converted into cs2 ns2 so what will i get ns2 cs2 whole 6 and ns2 reason being <clears throat> the c double bond o group will be converted into cs2 <clears throat> if it is made to react with c double bond oh that is an acid will it form a condensation polymer think about it yes oh group is there from here h will be removed out what will be removed out water molecule will be removed out so option number b is also correct now look at option number c co and s2 is passed through br2 naoh now this is pretty interesting because it is not a not a polymer question anymore it is the application of the reagents that you have learned so far if this is passed through br2 naoh it is what hoffman bromamide reaction right so what happens in here co is removed out so what will i get ns2 cs2 whole 4 and then ns2 if it is processed or it is passed through this acid what will happen will it form condensation polymer yes because water molecule will be removed out so this is also correct now look at option number d cn if we have cn <clears throat> cs2 whole 4 and then cn if we are reducing it what will happen cn group will be converted into what cs2 ns2 right in the middle we will be having cs2 whole 4 units cs2 ns2 now when it is passed through or it is made to react with the acid will it form condensation polymer yes because we have ns2 unit at the at one end and c double bond oh at the another end so this will also form the condensation polymer so how many options are correct all the options that you see here are correct that is a b c and d are correct options is it clear to everybody i hope it is a really very simple question just not your typical polymer based question but all the combinations of organic chemistry that you have studied so far so i hope it is believe uh, i believe it is clear to you now as you all know if you want to boost your j preparation this is the link that you should visit hope you have understood the chapter i'll see you in the next class good night everybody take care and bye bye